Hi, this is Rosie Sana Harjri. Uh, this is the last session for the course, and we're going to do some practical exercises regarding classification of malnutrition in baby cases and IOT and index grading. Okay, this is our first case. It's called as class one because the more elevation is um, class one, the upper maxillary molar, which is key to the occlusion. The major the cocos for that too is sitting in the group of the mandibular molars. And the type, according to the type, it is type 6 if there are spacing. Then coming to the IOTN index, um, the ecstatic component is 1 because it's reasonable picture. This case has a missing 1, 2, and 2, 2, so the dental health component. Rating is 4 H at first. Case 2, it is called as class 1, type 1, because there is a procline incisus. You can see the molar relationship is class 1, means the type is 1. IOTN index grading, the aesthetic component is 8. Because of the unerupted canine, you see the picture in the IOTN index aesthetic component chart. You can see the age is most relevant to the other pictures. The dental health component, there is a displacement of contacts and there is a partially erupted tooth. So the grading which match is 40. This case, you see the molar relationship is class 2. In this picture, it looked like class 1 but because of the angle. But if you take a picture exactly at the right angle like this, you see it's phylogeny class 2 case with deep bite and protruded incisor. So it's class 2, division 1 mal occlusion. And IOTN index, the picture look like, um, resemble the picture 5 of AC component. And dental health component is 5i. There is an infected uh, incisor, which is... This one one is fully erupted, the two one is unerupted and infected. Therefore, the dental health component is 5. In this case, the molar relationship, if you see in the fully erupted position, it's very difficult to determine because all the deep eye attrition is there. It's called as class 1 molars. RTN index, there is no, in the static component, there is no open bite. Uh, we have to check as per the alignment, we will grade that too. Uh, dental health component, there is a um, measurement of the open bite. And because of the amount of the open bite, we can classify this case as 4A. Coming to the next case is a class 1, type 1 case with a procline upper incisor. Therefore, it's type 1. And the molar relationship is class 1. And... Um, there is an IOTN ecstatic component is 4, dental health component is 40, and it is because of the displacement of the contact. It's more than 4 millimeters. And there is significant amount of the overjet, so procline upper incisors, and deep bite. So it is class 1, type 2. Okay. And IOTN index grading AC component is 5, dental health component, it has overjet, it has displacement of contact, and it has also overbite. So B grade based on which come first. So the overjet come first because based on the overjet, we given the score of 4A because there is an overjet of 9 mm. That's how you can use the dental health component of the IOTN index. Whichever come first should be given the grade. In this case, there is a class 1, type 1. The IOTN ecstatic component is 8 and the dental health component is 2C. This is class 1, type 7, because of deep bite. Aesthetic component is 7, 
and the dental health component is 40 based on displacement of the contact and uninterrupted canine. This is class 1, type 1, due to procline incisors. IoT and aesthetic component is 4, dental health component is 3D because of displacement of so here there is a class 2 to which we want malocclusion, IOT and aspatic score is 4 and dental health um, component there is four, uh, 3 things which are present here. There is the overgen, there is displacement of contact and there is a decline. But since overgen come on the list, we can classify it as 2A because it's uh, up to it's in between three to six millimeters of overture with a competent level.